about how to connect SQLite with Navigate ID. So first here, I'm going to open the command prompt and uh, this place you can see. So if I write or uh, there SQLite version. So we need to include here SQLite 3 version. Then you can see the version 3.41. Point to that install. So first here you need to install the SQLite version and thereafter opening here navigate ID. And the next is you need to go first on the connection. Here you can see list of databases are but uh, this video is for to uh, SQLite click there on the SQLite then this place you need to give here a uh, connection name so giving the connection name so test underscore SQLite then after exiting database that going to select and uh, here by clicking this or uh, triple dot you can browse the database so database is in desktop and there you can select uh, any of this so going to select here test and thereafter or uh, this tools are not uh, mandatory after that click on this test that's connection successful and click on ok now this is successfully connected with the or uh, SQLite then click on this test SQL then main and thereafter you need to click here on table so right click then you can uh, get here the list of things find database on new table imports to wizard and here double clicking on this EMP then you can get here the record of EMP tables and uh, here this is the EMP table records okay you can do this uh, sorting, filtering, and you can do here data generated, create generated. So this is the beautiful uh, things about the Navigate ID. You can create the models, charts, automation of the tables. Now the next is clicking connect. Then here SQLite clicking again. And all this time selecting here new SQLite and uh, let's give here SQL then after light and uh, here DB so exiting desktop is not going to select this time selecting here new SQL at 3 and database files so let's uh, give here uh, this time so Lenovo and uh, uh, this can be saved with this extension dvdv3 sqlite and thereafter you can see that's automatically it's taken db dot db then after click on ok and double click on this sqlite db then or uh, this place so here no tables there that's so uh, created the empty and uh, after that uh, you should go here right click on the tables click on this new tables then this place you can add here the columns change the text size make that primary key foreign key and uh, thereafter you can save this so uh, or table and give here let's give uh, abc press uh, okay abc is already is there so giving uh, unique names x y z duplicate columns okay the problem is duplicate columns so i'm going to click uh, just uh, okay we need to save some name first so let's give here id the next is name Next is DOB and RAS. Then we need to click on this save 
and let's give XYZ. Then this is successfully saved there. So this is how we can create the tables. You can set the primary key on the tables. So here you can see this is the ID primary key that set it. You can change here or data types. So this should be integer. And after modifying, you need to click on this save. That's it. So this is how we can uh, connect SQLite with a setting or database or newly created database in Navigate ID. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next to it. Thank you.